Hey there, it's Crafty Jennabug. It's another December Ember Day. In case you haven't seen anything about this, uh, December Ember is a daily ephemera inspiration prompt list hosted by 49 Dragonflies and Louisa Heinzel during the month of December. And each day you have a different prompt and a different animal of the day to incorporate into a piece of ephemera for a junk journal. Today I'm working on number 24, which is coffee or tea and a specimen card. And the animal of the day is the dragonfly. This one is so pretty. I think I'm going to use it for today's project, although its body is really narrow. I'll do what I can. Um, so I was not aware of what a specimen card was. Apparently it's like a, like you would use in a microscope or a slide of some sort. You know, it's like a, a slide that shows different specimens. So with that in mind, I am going to go ahead and fussy cut around this guy very carefully. And then I will, I have this back piece of card card from, it was just in my stash, I don't even know where it came from, but I'm going to put it on here. And then I've got this piece of card stock also from my scrap stash, and I'm going to coffee dye it. Maybe I'll coffee dye it first so it has time to dry. That's what we'll do. Right, let's get this out of the way. I will prep my surface. So I've got some cheap instant coffee from the Dollar Tree and I have a spray bottle full, of, well, I've got a spray bottle with some instant coffee mixed with water. And I think before I spray this, I want to crumple a little bit on there because I like the effect it gives. All right, I'm going to let that dry. And there's my coffee. While that dries, I am going to work on this. I cut its legs off by accident. So there is my specimen. Now I have to make the rest of the card. All right, I dried this most of the way with my heat gun, but I want it to look a bit more stained. So I I'm going to pour a little bit more coffee on there. And then I'm going to dry it with the heat gun. Fantastic. This is more what I wanted it to look like. It is a little warped looking from all the drying, but this is what I wanted. So now I have to figure out how big I need this to be. This is what it will look like. Now, what I want to do, let me get my ruler back out, is I want to use this as the front. So I gotta figure out how big of a hole I need to cut out to accommodate this.
Okay, so. Oh, I love it. I love it. Now, most specimen cards have... No, well, you know what? Usually they have some sort of clear cover, acetate, or what have you. I'm trying to decide if I want to use some acetate. So I have some more of that acetate that I used to make the bubble on the hamster scuba diving. And that can go right back there. And then this. All right, I like that a lot. Actually, I like that a lot. So first things first, let's get some tacky glue. Gotta let this dry, but I love it. So, I will let that dry, and then I'll be back. All right, I have taken the clamps off of this. It's mostly dry. I love it, but I do need to back it, as this is not appealing in the slightest. So I am going to use this cardstock just to give it a little, it's not incredibly thick, but it'll give me some general space on the back, I guess. So I will glue that down. Let's bring back out the tacky glue. Next thing I want to do, I have this from the card with the dragonfly and I'm going to use it as the label for the specimen card. There we have it, my specimen card. Let's make sure all the prompts, uh, parameters were meant. Coffee or tea, yep. And specimen card, yep. And then the dragonfly, yep. Awesome. Well, there it is, my little specimen card. You can see the lines from the glue on the back. That's pretty funny. I should have smeared it more. Oh, well, I'm not mad about it. It's interesting. So, there it is. Thank you again, Louisa and Barbara, for this awesome prompt list. It's I can't believe it's almost over. And, yeah, I'm having so much fun. I don't want it to end. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Have a great day. Bye.